the women can accomplish. It is an honor to be here on this stage where I can freely express myself by stating some motivational experiences and stories about situations and dilemmas in life that somewhat makes me laugh upon realizing how I managed to get my way up here where I am right now. So a lot of you in here might think, how can this five foot girl who's not yet in her 18 is given a privilege and talks like she knows everything? Hey you, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in the kitchen making me a sandwich? Whenever my male friend makes such jokes, he thinks it's being, oh, so very funny and ironic. Well, in a post-Nurture society, perhaps it would be so. But we have not reached that stage in the fight for gender parity where feminism is redundant. In fact, we are far from it. And we still face very ponderous issues to solve, such as the prevalence of gender roles we are expected to play, the objectification of women, and the damaging ideals of beauty created by the mass media. Let me share a surprising fact. Women during World War II were pioneers who helped women make a huge step in the direction of equality. Some believe that women in World War II brought only negative issues. However, they made many positive contributions to women's fight for equality. The role of working and mother was great for change. In America, women are steered away from doing male STEM jobs before they even reach the workforce. The large lack of women in STEM fields is justified by the notion that women are the ones who pick and prepare non-STEM jobs. That's why it is important that we recognize all women. We place unfair expectations on women to juggle multiple roles. Single women earn more than their male counterparts until they marry. Their employers believe that getting married entails taking on familiar responsibilities, which would result in them doing less unsatisfactory work. For men, the inverse is also true. They believe men will work harder to provide for their families and that Feminism is still relevant and necessary in this regard. Girls with dreams become women with visions. I want equality for all genders, all races, all people. We should not be shaming a person for being comfortable in their skin. We should be supporting. Instead of shaming us girls for our bodies, teach the boys that we shouldn't be seen as sexual objects. It's sad that girls with dreams become women with vision. May we empower each other to carry out such vision. Because it isn't enough to simply talk about equality. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to simply believe in it. One must work at it. Let us work at it. Together. Starting now. Start with what you can control. You start there. Because changing your workplace and changing the way the world thinks, that's big. That's daunting. And then you shrink from that. So start with what you can control. And then those questions start with it. First, we must ask ourselves, are we using our voices? And when are we not? And at least be cognizant of that and understand these are the times that I shrunk away from doing more than I could. And let me think about why that was. I am angry. Anger is a very normal response to having your human rights compromised. Gender as it functions today is grave injustice. We should all be angry. Anger has a long history of bringing about positive change but in addition to being angry, I'm also hopeful because I believe deeply in the ability of human beings to make and remake themselves for the better. Oh. I decided today that I wanted to take the power back. Today, I wear the pants. I had a revelation that I had to be empowered to be myself today more than ever. To resist the standards of dressing to impress. 
to use what really matters, my voice. Think about where you hold privilege. It might be in your job, as a parent, as a teacher, or just in the color of your skin and start this work now. Stop laughing at the jokes. Buy the book. Go to the event and diversify your social feeds and ask the questions. Sympathy is soothing, but it doesn't go far enough. Action does. And listen, you'll get things wrong. We all do. I've had some clangers, but it's not about perfection. It's about the progress. It's about doing it because it's the right thing to do. We are so done with waiting for society to change things for us. But we are society. I want to be respected in all of my femaleness because I deserve to be. Gender is not an easy conversation to have. For both men and women, it's sometimes to encounter almost immediate resistance. Some of men here might be thinking, okay, this is all interesting, but I do not think like that. And that is part of your problem. And that many men do not actively think about gender or notice gender is part of the problem. And to the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition. Lead with conviction. And see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you. Women are somewhat seen as shadows of men, for they are only created to follow the rules and wants of men. But people, we must set the standards of gender equality and let the women show off what they can do. Because we, the female gender, is also as amazing as those male. We are capable of standing on our own and complying with our responsibilities regardless of the hardship it may take. We can bring out the best in this world, not just on how we think and address our emotions, but how we equip things into action. That's why I am proud to call myself a feminist. A woman who stood up and raised the flag of feminism. Because I strongly believe in woman power, just like Maya Angelou says. Each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it possibly, without claiming it, she stands up for all women. Feminism seeks an equal in just the world. It seeks to dismantle oppressive system of power based on patriarchal ideas about the role of men and women. But it is not just a term, it is a movement, a philosophical ideology, and an end in itself. 